Let's look at equivalent algebraic expressions. These are expressions that look different, but actually mean the same thing. Like x plus x plus x is the same as 3x. Let's have a look at these expressions here and evaluate them at these values. So, for example, when a is negative 3 and b is negative 2, let's look at this. Well, we don't have to worry about b because there isn't a b in this one. So a is negative 3. We're going to get 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12. Then we're going to get 3 times negative 3, which is negative 9. Negative 12 plus negative 9 is negative 21. And then we have to add on 2, so we're going to get negative 19. When a is 0, we're going to get 0 plus 0 plus 2, which is 2. And when a is 3, we're going to get 12 plus 9, which is 21, plus 2, which is 23. For this next row, I am going to have 7 times 3 is negative 21, plus 2, it's negative 19. And the rest are easy, we'll fill them in quickly. For 7a squared plus 2, I have to take 7, and then I've got to take negative 3 and square it. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9. 9 sevens are 63, plus 2 gives me 65. And again, we'll work out the other two in a similar way, and there are the answers. Uh, for this 7a plus b, when a is negative 3, I'm going to have 7 times negative 3, which is negative 21 plus b, so plus negative 2, negative 21 subtract 2 is going to give me negative 23. And then for this last one, we're going to have 7 times negative 3, which is negative 21, times negative 2, which is going to be positive 42. And again, we'll fill in the other two in a similar way. Now, one question I want to ask myself is, which of these are equivalent expressions? And now, hopefully, you see that 4a plus 3a plus 2 can be simplified, because 4a plus 3a, these are like terms, and so you'll get 7a. So 4a plus 3a plus 2 is equal to 7a plus 2. These two are equivalent expressions. And you'll notice that because they're equivalent expressions, they have exactly the same values for any different value of a you choose to put in. Now, sometimes people get a bit confused and then they see 4a plus 3a, they think the answer should be 7a squared. So someone might think that 7a squared plus 2 is equivalent to 4a plus 3a plus 2. But if you just substitute in some values, you'll see that substituting in negative 3, you get a very different answer here to here, and that immediately tells you that these two are not equivalent. Similarly, some people think that if you say 7a plus b, you can just collapse it all together and say 7ab, so they'd think these two are equivalent. Now, hopefully, you immediately know that's not true, because 7a plus b 7a and b are not like terms, so you can't actually simplify this anymore. And 7ab means 7a times b, so it's not the same as 7a plus b. But similarly, if you just substitute in some values, you will see you get very different answers for 7a plus b to 7ab. So these two are definitely not equivalent expressions.